from around the globe. It's the Cube with digital coverage of DockerCon Live 2020. Brought to you by Docker and its ecosystem partners. Hello everyone, welcome to DockerCon 2020. I'm John Furrier in the DockerCon Virtual Studios, the Cube Studios. It's the Cube Virtual meets DockerCon 2020 virtual event with my co-host Jenny Bercio and Peter McKee, as well as Brett Fisher over on the Captains who's doing his sessions. This is the wrap up of the long day of continuous, amazing, action-packed DockerCon 2020. Jenny and Peter, what a day. We still got the energy. We can go another 24 hours. Let's do it now. This is a wrap up. Um, so uh, exciting day, tons of sessions, great feedback. Twitter's on fire, then chats and engagements on fire. But this is the time where we do the most coveted piece, the community awards. So Jenny, this is the time for you to deliver the drum roll for the community awards. Take it away. It is nice for the past few years and have been able to recognize those in the community that uh, deliver so much to everyone else. Um, and even though we're wrapping up here, there is still other content going on because we just couldn't stop till five o'clock. Uh, Peter, what's happening right now? Yeah, so over in the Devs in Action uh, channel, we have Hardening Docker uh, Demon with Rootless Mode. So that's still going on, should be a great talk. And then in the how to channel, we have transforming open source into live uh, service with Docker. They're still running now. Great, two, two great talks. Awesome. And then the captains are still going. I think they probably started the after party already, although this channel is going to wait till, uh, you know, 30 more minutes for that one. So if you're in after party mode, definitely go, <laughs> go check out after we announce the awards. Uh, Brett and Marcos and, and Jeff in the captain's channel. So we have some great things uh, to share. And I mentioned it in my last segment, but nothing happens without the collective community. DockerCon is no exception. So I, I really just want to take a moment again to thank the Docker team, the attendees, our sponsors, and our community leaders and captains. They've been all over uh, the virtual conference today, just like they would have been at a real conference. And I love the energy, uh, you know, as a, as an organizer planning a virtual event, there's always the concern of, of how it's going to work, right? This is new for lots of people, but I'm, I'm floored and I'm thrilled with, uh, how everyone showed up today. Yeah, for sure. Um, and two, the community's done some excellent things. Marcus over them in the, uh, captain's channel, he has built out, uh, PWD play with Docker. So if you haven't checked that out, please go check that out. We're going to be doing some really great things with that, adding some, I think I mentioned earlier in the day, but we're adding a lot of great content into there, a lot of more, a lot more labs. Um, so please go check that out. Um, and then talking about the community leaders, you know, they, they bring a lot to the community. They put their, their free time in, right? No one, no one's paying them. Um, and they do it just out of the sheer joy to give back to the community. Organizing events. I don't know if uh, you ever organized an event, Jenny. I know you have, but they take a lot of time, right? They, you have to plan everything. You have to get sponsors. You have to find a place to host. And now with virtual, you have to figure out how you're going to deliver uh, the the feel of a meetup in virtually. And um, we just had our community summit the other day, and we heard from the community leaders what what they're doing. They're doing some really cool stuff: uh, live streaming, Discord. Um, pulling in a lot of tools to be able to kind of recreate that feel of being together as a community. So super excited, really appreciate all the community leaders for putting in the extra effort during these times. Yeah, for really adapting and, and continuing in their mission and their passion uh, to share and to teach. So we want to recognize a few of those awesome community leaders. And I think we get to it right now, Peter, are you ready? Set. Let's go for it. Why wait? All right. So the first uh, community leaders are from Docker Bangalore, and they are rocking it. Uh, Samgam Birdar, Ajit Singh Reina, and Siam Rathak. Thank you all so much for your commitment to this community. All right. 
And the next one we have is Dr. Penang. Thank you so much, Sujay Pilar. Done a great job. Gotta love, gotta love that picture and that shirt, right? Yeah. All right, next up, we'd love to recognize Dr. Rio, Camilla Martins, and Andre Fernandez, longtime community leaders. Yeah, if I ever get a chance, I, that's, that's, I, I have a bunch of them that I want to go travel and visit, but Rio's at the top of the list, I think. And then also, yeah, Peter, maybe that could be, uh, that could be part of the award. It's, uh, you get, you get, get to go, get go there, bring them their awards in person now, as soon as we that can would, do that again. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Okay. The next one is, uh, Dr. Guatemala and Marcos Canu. Really appreciate it. And, and that, that is awesome. Awesome. Marcos uh, has done, has organized and put on so many meetups this past year. It's really, really amazing. All right. Next one is Dr. Budapest and Leos Pop, Carly Koss, and Bense Avadi. Awesome. The, the mentorship and leadership coming out of this um, community is fantastic. And, and, you know, we're so thrilled to recognize you. All right. And then we go to Docker Algeria. Man, we got some great, we're all over the country. It's so, it's so cool to see. But uh, Ayub Benisa, it's been uh, great. Look at that great picture, that background. Thank you so much. I think we need, um, we need some clap sound effects here. <laughs> yeah, where's, where's Beth? From I'm way? clapping. Let's, let's. Uh, all right, cool. last one. Dr. Chicago, Mark Panthefer, Dr. Chicago, Dr. Milwaukee, and Dr. Madison. One meetup is not enough for Mark. So Mark, thank you so much uh, for spreading your doctor knowledge throughout uh, multiple locations. Yeah, and on behalf of Docker, thank you to all of our winners and all of our community leaders. We really, really appreciate it. All right, and the next award I have the pleasure of giving is the Docker Captains Award. And mm -hmm. if you're not familiar with captains, uh, Docker Captains are recognized by Docker for their outstanding contributions to the community. And this year's winner was selected by his fellow captains for his tireless commitment to that community. Um, on behalf of Docker and the captains, and I'm sure the many, many people that you have helped, all 13.3 million of them on Stack Overflow and countless others on other platforms. The 2020 Tip of the Captain's Hat Award winner is Brandon Mitchell. So, so deserving. And luckily Brandon made it super easy for me to put together this slide because he took his free DockerCon selfie wearing a captain's hat. So it worked out perfectly. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I see Brandon, not only on Stack Overflow, but in our community Slack, answering questions just in the general area where everybody, the questions are random. You have everybody from intermediate to beginners and Brandon is always in there answering questions. It's a huge, huge help. Yep, always in there answering questions, sharing code, always providing feedback to the Docker team. Um, just such a, such a great voice both in and out for Docker. I mean, we're so proud to, to have you as a captain, Brandon, um, and I'm so excited to, to give you this award. All right, so that was the most fun, right? We get to do the community awards. Do we want to do any sort of recap on the day? What, I don't know. Now, what was your now favorite session? Up. What was your favorite tweet? Up. Favorite tweet was absolutely Peter screenshotting his parents. <laughs> mom mom my dear mom it's sweet though that's sweet i appreciate it can't believe they yeah. came in a lot. i mean have they ever seen you do a, a work presentation before no they've seen me lecture my kids a lot and i give, you know, <laughs> go on about life's lessons and but i'm not sure if it's the same thing but yeah i don't think no, so no, yeah no they've never seen me teach well, Peter, you, know? you got to get the awards for the kids that's the secret to success you know 
and yeah. the captain awards and the community household awards for the kids. Yeah, well, I, I am grooming my my second daughter. She teaches uh, code to after school kids, and um, never thought she would be interested in programming because she was younger, wasn't interested in. But yeah, she's super interested in now. I have to I'm gonna bring her into the community now. Yeah. All right. Well, great awards, Jenny. That's any any more awards? We good on the awards? No, nope, we we are good on the awards, but certainly not the thank yous uh, for today. I. It's, it's an absolute honor to uh, put on an event like this and have the community show up, have our speakers show up, uh, have the Docker team show up, right? And uh, I, I'm, I'm just really thrilled. And I think the, the feedback has been phenomenal so far. And so I just really want to thank our speakers and our sponsors and, and know that, you know, while DockerCon may be over, like what we did today here, and it never ends. So thank you. Let's continue the conversation. Um, there's still still things going on and tons of sessions uh, on demand now. You can catch up. Go One here. more thing. I have to remind yeah. everybody. We I mentioned it earlier, but I got to gotta say it again there. Go back, watch the keynote. And I'll say it this time, there is an Easter egg in there. I don't think anybody's found it yet. But if you do, tweet me and um, might be a surprise. Well, you guys are you, a, are you watching your tweet feed right now? Because uh, you're going to get <laughs> no, quite yeah, a few. Probably, yeah, it's probably blowing up right now. Well, they got to get on but, that um, keynote, that for sure. Guys, it's been great. You guys have been phenomenal. It's been a great partnership, the co-creation, this event. And again, what blows me away is the, the reach, global reach of the event, the interaction, the engagement, and the cost was zero to attend. And that's all possible because of the sponsors. Again, shout out to Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, Nginx, Cockroach Labs, and Sneak as the platinum sponsors. And also we had some ecosystem sponsors. And if you like the event, go to the sponsors and say hello and say thank you. Um, they're all listed on the page, hit their sessions, and they really make it possible. So all this effort on all sides has been great. So awesome, I learned a lot. Thanks for everyone for watching. Peter, you want to get a final word in and we'll give Jenny the final, final word. No, but again, yeah. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you, everybody. It's been great. The Cube has been phenomenal. Your people behind the scenes have been uh, just utterly professional. And um, and thank you, Jenny. If anybody doesn't know, you guys don't know how much Jenny shepherds this whole process through. She's our captain internally, making sure everything stays on track and gets done. You, you could not even imagine what she does, it's it's incredible. So thank you, Jenny, I really, really appreciate it. Jenny, take us home, wrap yeah. this up, 2020, DockerCon right. in the books. But it's gonna be on demand, it's, not, it's 365 days a year now, come on, final word. It's it's not over, it's not over. Uh, community, we will see you tomorrow, we will continue to see you. Thank you to everyone, um, I had a great day, I hope everyone else did too, and happy DockerCon 2020, see you next year. Okay, that's a wrap. See you on the internet, everyone. I'm John Furrier for Jenny and Peter. Thank you so much for your time and attention throughout the day. If you're coming in and out, remember, go see those sessions. They're on a calendar, but now they're a catalog of content and consume and have a great evening. Thanks for watching.